Hello, my name is Aditya Paranzape. I'm an associate professor of aerospace engineering at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. The crash that happened earlier today was very unfortunate and I thought I should offer an early assessment based on the perspective of someone who works in flight physics and control. I'll add the caveat that it's still early days. We don't have a lot of data yet. We certainly need data from the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder to make a more conclusive assessment. But we do have some early evidence in the form of a video of the last moments and some early data from the, from the site flight radar. If we consider the video of the last moments, we notice first that it's falling, which means it isn't stalled and it's producing enough lift. The airplane almost appears to be gliding down and critically its wings level with the rudder almost set to neutral. What that implies is that not only is, not only is there not enough thrust, it's most likely a case of dual engine out or dual engine idling. It's difficult to say which of the two it is at the moment. I should add here that airplanes are configured to climb out with just one engine operational. It's a standard maneuver known as a one engine out climb. That maneuver additionally requires that the rudder be deflected in the direction of the working engine to balance out the differential yawing moment, which we don't see here. So in summary, there is enough lift, there isn't enough power, and the loss of power is identical on both sides of the airplane. If we now look at data from the, fly, from the site flight radar, it shows the airplane climbing up to 650 feet. The flight speed goes up to 170 knots and the climb rate recorded at 650 feet is approximately 800 feet per minute. Now that tells us immediately that at the time of liftoff, the, airpl the airplane was configured correctly. The flaps were okay, otherwise the plane would not get off the ground. The initial thrust was also okay because the plane accelerated after having lifted off around maybe 155 to 160 knots, which is the standard liftoff speed. So the plane's accelerating, it has a positive climb rate, which means the initial thrust was okay may not have been as much as we would like to see, but the engines had not failed at that point. So something probably went wrong thereafter, which the pilots realized, and that also explains why the landing gear was down. They either did not retract it, or they started the retraction and then reversed that process, when they sensed the possibility of a hard landing. So in summary, what we see from flight radar is that the airplane's configuration initially was most likely okay, the engine was most likely functioning properly. Both engines were functioning properly, at least for a good part of the takeoff. And whatever went wrong, went wrong after the airplane had lifted off the ground. And thereafter we see from the videos of the last moment that most likely we had a dual engine out situation.